Okay, Miro, you're next one. Now I'm All right, well, since we're going out of order, I, right, just, I really want to talk about this one. Uh, it's a re more recent one I finished, uh, Parasite. Oh, oh, that's one of mine. <laughs> so I haven't seen it. Damn it. Oh, fun I've heard a lot of good, good things about it. The person who did the opening for it did the opening to Baki too. <laughs> I can believe it. And it's funny because I, well, I, I actually can't just say two because like they're kind of the same thing. Oh, uh, sure. Let's talk about Parasite. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk about. I mean, I've well, seen. Like, it, well, like the one, out, the other one's pretty much like kind of with it. Oh okay. no! Was it Devilman? Yeah, yeah. Do you have Devilman? Yeah, Devilman. No, everything. I don't actually. Yeah. Oh man! Well, oh, those two we're gonna talk about okay. now. Okay. okay. You can talk about Parasite. Yeah, you guys talk about Parasite. Uh, I haven't seen it. Well, I've seen Devilman first before Parasite. Well, that's the reason I wanted to watch it. Okay. Well, the reason is because like you know I was doing research and like Devilman was pretty much like an influence for like. Evon people say for Evon. So we're talking for, about Devilman, right? Yeah. Well, I'm leading to Parasite, but like, okay. but like. The Parasite, you know, I, I like it because I had like, because I watched Devil Man's, oh, you probably like Parasite. I watched it. Ooh, recommendations. <laughs> well, no, because I've seen videos talk about how they're kind of similar. I was like, all right, let's see. And they are kind of similar in a way, but not fully because they all become different. But no, like, there's, a, there's a few titty scenes in there, but don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't care about the titty scene. Well, you, it's, can we tell the story of how you well, ambushed us for that? Oh, <laughs> so okay, oh you for better watch the show. show. So so we're, we're, we're having a little anime, we're having a little anime, <laughs> a little anime club get together where we take turns choosing what we're going to watch. And Ramiro chooses Delaman Crybaby. And I was like, okay, we all wanted to see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Just uh, He uh, says, okay, guys, there's some nudity in it. So be warned. We're like, okay. There's some nudity. We're like, okay, we're expecting that. Yeah. Then there's more nudity, and we look at Ramiro. <laughs> and then there's straight up borderline hentai. And we look at Ramiro again, and he's like, whoa, come on. <laughs> there's a story in this, well, I promise. My, well, for my defense, you know, the story was really good. I forgot, I forgot about the, the all that nudity. It like, is. I know there's a part where at the beginning where that lady becomes a demon and her titties become fucking mouths and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you see? Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> see, I, I, when you say just like, there's a, oh, there's a little bit of nudity, it's just like, okay, there's like maybe a flash or two, not just straight it's up. a couple just, of nip slips. But anyway, but, not like, a full back to, but like back to Parasite, you know, I just like, like, I didn't know, I was right, reading the, Parasite. I was reading like little bits of the manga, I didn't realize it was it came out in the 80s. Yeah, it came mm -hmm. out and from like, like 88 to 93, oh, wow. an anime that came out in 2014, they updated everything. Yeah, like it was really modern because like one scene in particular, I really... The one scene I really like particularly is like whenever like um, in the anime is like when he f figure out what's going on with his arm and stuff like they kind of modernize about you know involving Google because he's just searching on the computer and stuff and like mm -hmm. I'm actually yeah. rewatching Parasite as we speak wow. <laughs> yeah because I'm uh, watching it with my sisters well like you oh. know I like because I, I mean like I like I like him as a character and I totally yeah. forgot his name. It uh, Shinichi? Shinichi. Because yeah. I keep thinking Shinji because... <laughs> no, not, um, not it, Shinichi. There are parts when you're watching it where it still feels... Like you can feel the 80s coming off of yeah. it. Even though it's, you know, they modernized it in the anime. But it, it is really just a good... It's another one, one of those where it's 24 episodes. It's not super long. Yeah. It, it, it ends. It has an ending. So that's always a plus. Oh, but no, but like, I really liked it. And, you know, like, it. it gives me the devil man feels because, you know, how, like, at one point, you know, they were like, oh, shoot, people are becoming these parasites. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like who's who's, who's one right? of them kind of thing. Who's one of them. And then, but like, also kind of like, you know, the body betrayal aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is similar because it's like, oh, yeah, who's the devil I've always enjoyed <laughs> parasites. It just, oh, it works in a lot yeah, of But if we're going to talk about nudity, I know Matt's for a part that made him laugh. And I, it went through my head. It's in like, Parasite? Devil Man. Parasite, whenever Shinichi makes love with that girl, he goes oh. out. And then, like, uh, <laughs> for what's the They name? have a, a <laughs> Mermo is her name. Uh, they have they, they, they don't show anything. It's just, they, it was like, you know, they're mm. on and off the whole series. They finally make love. And because one of the things of Parasite is Shinichi's having trouble with his emotions because he feels like he's becoming less human. Extinct teen. And he can't, <laughs> I, he's having a hard time identifying feelings and all that. Mm -hmm. So he makes love with her. Murno and they're lying there after the deed is done, just kind of you know in the afterglow, huh. and he's just he looks he looks over, he's like Murno, 
I think I love you. <laughs> and I can't articulate <laughs> how funny it was the yeah. first time I was watching that. What was that first time I told I you? I laughed that? so hard. What was another thing I told you? Like, it was like in the beginning of the series, I told you I thought it was funny what he said or something like that. I can't remember. I think it was like something yeah, funny. It's really specific. Yeah. Mel, but then like, but then, then Devil Man, you know, that's a good series, you know. Maybe. Devil Man was good. Well, see, Devil that Man one, that, like, like, Paris had given me a roller, mo- a roller coaster of emotions too. Yeah, it made me feel like a lot of things made me happy, made me sad. Same thing with Devil Man, you know, but made me more sad than happy. Yeah. What do you got to say about Devil Man, Brandon? It's pr- pretty much the same thing. I, I really liked it. I, I like the concept of like, a character who could have like a quote unquote evil within him, but use it to fight other evil, like because he was the Devil Man, so he fought other devils. He was. So the I, devil <laughs> but I know Tanner's first scene of Devil Man is the donkey noise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my question to you: How'd you feel about the first orgy? Oh God! You know, I, I don't really remember a lot of that stuff. I just Who's remember that's the first first? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's like because it, it's just like it's, it shows how the world is and what's going on especially those uh, what they call like those rituals the um the Sabbath. Black rituals yeah Sabbath. 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 we're gonna go to a con one of these days and there's just gonna be that uh, um, <laughs> and Tyler um, gets his fantasy with you the think this, this one's old enough for a spoiler no one, Devil Man? yeah no uh, no it's since it's well song. actually well technically yes, yes but the modern Netflix version which a lot of people know I buy is still pretty fresh so I say no spoilers or yeah. as few as possible I still like the fact like how and I and I'm this is running drag. If I ever meet him, I'm gonna tell him he has some good rapping skills as Yachty Young. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. No, but like, yeah, I did read the original original yeah. Devil Man manga, all of it. So oh, it's wow. way it's kind of different. Right? It's kind of different, but it, it's still similar enough. It's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but but they all look weird, huh? The only it's thing is 1960s really. manga. So yeah. yeah. So the one thing I found hilarious though is whenever they went to this. Would you say he's like a model agent or that one guy that that was trying to take pictures of? Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. What I thought was funny is they go into where he lives with his mom. Oh and yeah. They go talk upstairs. About they get what they want, and they gave her money, and they told her, "Don't look at your son's computer." And what does she do? She does, and the whole thing blows. Yeah. <laughs> that was the one spoiler I wanted to say, but okay. I know that was bad. Okay, Brandon, <laughs> your next one. Yeah, that's okay, cool. I will we'll one, talk please. about the first movie being mentioned now, and uh, Howl's Moving Castle wow. uh, was actually like one of my first anime movies so that I, I feel like I watched. Minus Pokemon, I like I know Pokemon is an anime. <laughs> no, I, just, uh, I normally don't like. I, mean, I don't know. I know Pokemon is an anime. I'm not saying it's not, but uh, Howl's Moving Castle just felt like it was the first anime movie I watched. Mm. Um, I read the book that was by Diane Wynne Jones, Diane Wine Jones. It, it's different, but like it's still good. Like the story that and like how seeing it come to life that Studio Ghibli Ghibli did. Um, how many of them have you seen? Uh, of all of Studio Ghibli, yeah. Um, gosh, um, which one was the one with Mark Hamill? <laughs> what? That's <sighs> I can't remember. There's a so we all watched the Secret Life of Arietti together. Yes. Yes. I've seen House Moving Castle. Yeah, you yes. see Spirit Away. Cool. I've seen Spirit Away. That was always on Toonami and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I refuse um, to watch that. Yeah, I forgot what happens. Oh, what's that? Let me tell you, what's that monster face? It's Spirit no Away. Face. Yeah, no, no face. face. Yeah. Noel is terrified of him. No, no, oh. no. He doesn't like him because like the scene where uh, that girl's uh, mom and parents become pigs and all that. Like as a kid, that disturbed the crap oh. out of him. Oh. Yeah. No pigs. <laughs> But, I mean, there's a lot of Studio Ghibli stuff that I haven't watched that I need yeah. to. Like, Princess Mononoke, I hear, is really good. Yeah, it is. Um, Were you Ponyo, at? I hear, is really good, even though Robin. like that was, like, very Disney. It's Liam Neeson. <laughs> um, oh, God. Ponyo, don't go there. But, yeah. Uh, I, I, I really like that company. Oh, I like all yeah, the I've got Christian Bale who's in Howl's Movie Castle. Yeah. yeah. He is. Yep. Batman? Yeah, his yep. prototypical Batman voice. Yeah. They're literally, like, don't look at me. <laughs> I can't play I'm the movie. hero. But it was not what it deserves. I don't you think know. it's my favorite Ghibli. I haven't seen them all, which is a shame. I, I haven't seen, even seen Totoro. No. I've, oh, I've, I've seen, seen the big ones. I've seen Totoro, Howl, Spirit, Spirit of the Way. Um, Ponyo? Poco Rosso. No, Grave of the Fireflies. Grave of the Fireflies. I've seen Princess Mononoke. Mm-hmm. Um, I only saw it the once, and I just... I was like, okay with it. Mm-hmm. Does that make any sense? Like... <laughs> I, th- I think if you're younger, it would make a lot more impact on you and imprint more. Yeah. Um, but it was away. still good. I'm a child. <laughs> only Spirit Away is like the only Studio Ghibli film I really like. I that was the first one I watched. And I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as... I, I think just... House of Moon Castle was just nice because it was just like... I don't know. Ha- just the character Howl is just very like... <laughs> 
cool. Don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like cool, mysterious, and he has magic and um Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm over. Oh, I'm over. Alright, Tammy, tell us. No, I think Brandon gets one more. Alright, Brandon. Oh, uh, well this might be on other people's lists. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Right here. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's, all, it's on Carlos, Sumero, or Brandon. Okay. I mean, I just say, oh, just... oh, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> y'all <laughs> can suck. It's and a good show, but it's... it's you all can it's suck this funny. chicken tender. If you do all of JoJo, Phantom Blood kind of dragged it down. Well, yes, but you, you read that book to me, and you know... I mean, we quite... all went no, through that I'm... awkward phase. <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. It's just, it's not... The best. It's not my top, top. No, I'll tell you, pets. Part seven. Well, let's awesome. talk about JoJo. All right. Let's okay. Let me say this real quick. JoJo's escapades. <laughs> jo- okay. Well, well, okay. When would you say that it, it it peaked in popularity over here? In popularity? Yes. Over or, here. I can't part speak three. for everybody. I feel like part when part th- two. three was coming out. I was so late to that damn part. Okay. Yeah, I so, was late to it too. <laughs> See the thing with me though, I got into JoJo whenever I when I bought uh, the All Star Battle game on PS3. Like it was before 2012 and before they started doing the series. Before they started before the relaunch. Yeah. yeah. So I played it. I got interested. I went digging. I started like doing my research on it. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. Because for, when I first saw it, I thought like, oh, it's just gonna be random as hell. No. And then I found out about the story. Then I found out I found out that there's Phantom Blood. That there's Battle Tendency, Stardust. Then oh my god. No, but like <laughs> Diamond is Unbreakable. Then you have I don't know how you say it, the fifth one. A golden, uh, golden Wind. Wind. Well, not I didn't want to say it like that. I wanted to yeah, yes. And then you had what a steel ball run? No, no it was Stone, Stone Ocean. Stone Ocean then steel, steel ball run, run. and then I Jajolian. Yeah. But like I remember when he was telling me about it, like he was telling me about uh, he was out telling me about it and stuff because was it the fighting game, right? The yes, one? it was the fighting. Yeah, game. we're we're top. He was telling me the whole story, and I was just like, "This is fucking trippy." <laughs> yeah, it, it was. <laughs> Explaining it doesn't do it justice. Yeah, you but, can't explain yeah, it. Yeah, but like, but like, whenever I started watching it, and before everyone starts ragging on me, I started on part three because like you're fine because yeah. yo he rags on me about it. <laughs> I do was like so when are you gonna watch Marvel? Well, that was the first two? one to be really animated. Yeah, that's, they make the OVAs back. Well, in the day. Didn't, well like when I was started watch watching it, is whenever they barely finished part three, and like when I first started watching JoJo, they just barely finished wa- finished making it in Japan. Like the whole series is already out. Like they're barely they're in the middle of like uh, both parts of part three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like they're in the middle of a battle of Egypt. Battle yeah. yeah. So I started <laughs> watching part three and stuff, and then like I watched all the way through and everything. That's like, oh man. So that's like the first anime I ever watched through subbed. <laughs> I liked it a lot. I was, all, I was all like, I was like, I like old man Joseph, you yeah. know, Jotro, Holy Horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Battle Tendency was actually my yeah favorite, a part. Of Battle Tendency for me is still the best part. Oh yeah, like American. It's the most complete arc. It's like it could be a standalone thing and it could still be good. Like yeah. it wasn't too long. And it wasn't too short, and it was just it it worked. And yeah. Joseph's such a good JoJo, mm-hmm. and he was great until he cheated. They decided to assassinate his character for the sake of creating another protagonist. Ugh. Okay, when when did they assassinate him in part four? Yes, because they're like, oh, he had a an affair. Uh, affair and had a child, and they killed this character. They didn't kill him, but it's just like he was great until then. It's like they had oh, to bar oh. him. Yeah. Poetic Justice he died on part four. <laughs> it was just like yeah. you could have. Thought of something else. Well, no. I still like, like how the fact that that Jonathan wanted to be a gentleman while the rest of his lineage became degenerates. Yep. Yep. Well, no, it's funny because his wife was well, his funny, son was but, okay. Well, yeah, but not but not Joseph. Joe Joseph. I blame Lisa. Lisa George. For that. George. But like George I was, uh, Johnson. Yeah. No, but like I don't know. If, like like the whole point of part seven, like the villains, like the president of the United States, it takes place in the United States, but yeah. it makes me laugh. Is like. The thing that they're looking for. Isn't like, his name funny Valentine? Yeah, the Valentine's like wants to sting and is like, he only wants it so he can make America great. Like, make it all good. Like, he wants to do everything for his country. Well, uh, fuck, what's his name? You know, well, Johnny? if you want to be really technical, that's not an anime. That's yet. not anime at all. Well, the manga. Right. Well, this is top 10 anime. Oh, okay. Not manga. <laughs> well, no, I just so know, you I can't... mentioned manga stuff before. But, but like, I just thought it was Go funny. But that was funny no, because, before. like, what was his, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Who? The main protagonist. What, Johnny thing. Joestar? Is it Johnny? The yeah. Steel Ball? Yeah, yeah, John, yeah, yeah he just Johnny. wants the device so he can walk. <laughs> well, Valentine wants it so he can make everyone uh, make America great. 
Um, what are your final no thoughts? No context. On it? Uh, I mean, I haven't watched past Battle of Egypt, so I'm like, I know of things, I so none know. of that stuff was like spoiled. Well, I feel like people like parkour more here um, than, than part three. I think I think you should try. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I hear I like a lot of good four. things about part four, and like it's, it's subgroups of JoJo fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like part four is prettier, mm-hmm. so girls like it a bit more. Yeah, because there's not. Okay, let me ask you. Part three is a bit more boyish, not to assign genders to fandoms or anything like that, but just saying it lends itself easier to beautification after part four. Yeah, I know. Like part five, it's all. I don't know. I feel like when we went to cons, I saw more part three and five. (sighs) But no, my my last thing to this to those who've seen it, yeah, favorite opening for me. Can't do that. <laughs> I like the band who does the opening. <laughs> Probably the, still the first one, but they're all good. They're all bangers. Oh. Yeah, they, yeah, I still can't believe Jojo, it. Jojo, at least I've only seen to Don't Diamonds Unbreakable, but there isn't a bad opening. Like you can tear them and what you like better, but like. Well, you mean like the first opening of Part Five is the same guy who sings Part Two? So yeah, yeah. But it's only on Spotify in English by him. He sings it too, but it's in English. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, I love it. I hate okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, no. no. I think okay. I said all my piece on JoJo. You got it. Okay. Great. I'm anime. I'm all right. Ten tackles. Do you want to do two? I can do two. Yeah. That'll take. That'll take most of mine away. <laughs> do you have another? I big like three? whittling you down right. to nothing. I'm almost whittled down to nothing. Do you have one of the big three? Uh, probably uh, Death Parade. Oh, oh, that should have been on my list. It's, yeah. it's not my top ten, but it's up there. It made yeah. me feel. Oh, it was. It made you feel, Carlos. It love Death Let's Parade. say it kind of... Is it just me and you that have that on the top? I had it on the top. Yeah. I was going to say it kind of helped me get through what I was going through. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Sad. I'm not, it's sad. Can we spoil or win that spoil? No. Uh, that that show is best left untalked about. It, it deals with a lot of heavy issues, including Death. suicide and self-harm. So we'll leave it at that. And after watching some of those characters go through the suicide part, I was like, oh, no, no, I don't want to leave it with regret. I do like talking about the whole, just the game part of it. for Yeah, just the, the they, concept and the idea itself is just so good. The yeah. concept in itself that yeah. people have to compete I, for whether they go to reincarnation or a... Oblivion? Abyss. abyss. It's like the you abyss. Go, yeah. yeah, you go to the Basically, abyss. You're either, reinc- reinc- you're either reincarnated or the abyss, which is you just exist as pure thought for eternity. Yeah, that and sounds like fun. <laughs> I, I, oh. <laughs> I, what that's I do cute. like about Are Death you Parade. Halo? <laughs> no, uh, and that's not on my list, but I just want to say, like, uh, there are a few episodes where it almost makes you think you know who's going to which one, nah. and then it switches it, or they both nah. go one way, or they both go the other way, and you're like, what? I didn't Whoa, know they could do that. It's one of those series where it's uh, yeah. it's episodic, so like each episode's kind of a standalone, but it's also there's a thread running through it, yeah. and those series are harder to do, but they're good. Could you even argue that they're not even in the same time? Like, there's not just not just a straight timeline. It's kind of it could be pieced anywhere at any point. Or like is it, the people who go there, a like good portion of it. Episode, could well, be. no, I'm not talking about the people who die and go there. I'm talking about like, you know, this episode could have happened before this one, kind of thing. Sometimes or, they they have a clear order, and other times they don't. Yeah, that's I'd what I was saying. Like, we don't know how long <laughs> they exist and how long, how much time has passed in the. In the right, series. Because it's not really. I just like really his time. I like his hobby, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, his hobby. Mannequins. I, mean, <laughs> I cosplayed as Deckham once, and someone thought I was Colonel Sanders. Is that Colonel <laughs> Sanders? <laughs> Uh, we went to. We went I was to, so uh, mad. That was funny because we went to yeah, like yeah, what we, we went, went to, to uh, Twisters, uh, Twisters in Albuquerque, yeah. and then like oh, this, this yeah. guy's like, "What do you guys? Or is there a convention?" Or like, "Yeah, oh, I like that Dragon Ball Z. Who are you supposed to be?" Rand's all, "I'm someone," and he's all, "Was this Colonel Sanders over yeah. here?" To, to be fair, I had it was hot, so I had some of the cosplay off, and I had my glasses on, so I looked like just a guy with white spiky hair and glasses and a suit. Yeah. So I was Colonel Sanders. <laughs> you know, talking about that, I still love the fact that when Brandon went into Wendy's dress oh, up Black Sebastian. <laughs> and you cosplayed as Sebastian <laughs> from Black Butler. And you made a girl squeal. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know how to handle this. <laughs> um, but no, um, I do like the concept that you go to Quadeca with no memory of where you are, how you got there. 
and you have to play through the, through a game. Yeah, whatever the game is. Whatever the game is, it could be pool, it could be a fu- it could be like a fighting game, or it could be <laughs> darts. air hockey, darts, or it could be a poker, bowling. They didn't do poker. No, they did old maid. Yeah. Yeah. But I like how then like as as you progress through the games, you get memories hmm. until the end of the game, and then you realize, oh, I died. It's no, this is a really good no. idea. Like it's an original it, it, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's an original anime. It actually started Origin because they had uh, one of the studios had a contest uh, for making an anime series, and like you would submit your idea, idea, and they make a little pilot for it. That's why if you've ever seen it, it has an OVA called Death Billiards. Yeah, where like, yeah. it's the same concept. It's Deku when they're playing pool, and they decided that one won, and they picked it up, and that's how it became a series. Mm-hmm. I like the cameo, <laughs> but the end, the opening is so misleading, man. So happy. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the opening. The opening is, is the opening a very is nice and good opening. That's like, my favorite JoJo. Opening. At least, <laughs> at least top fifteen openings. But yeah, like the I ending agree. is like all oh, sad. Oh, I love the ending too. The, the ending is, is really good too. The ending yeah. is really freaking good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Did they change the endings? Everyone? No, no. no. It's think- this. It's a six-minute song. I think they play different parts of the song. Yes, yeah. that's De- depending on what's, going what's on happening in the series. Because like that song goes very slow, and then there's other parts where it's like oh, rock. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it fits and it, it works a lot. Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. Death it's almost like how Roundabout was for Joe. Oh, okay. Yeah, when yeah. they played it for different parts. Yeah. All right, like, Matt, your turn. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, yeah. no, no, no. I'm doing two. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. I did one. You got another so, big three? Uh, maybe. There's You're probably gonna hate me. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Anybody? Why not Full Metal Alchemist? I'm on there. I'm on there. No. <laughs> you know my favorite part is the first couple episodes where he meets that guy who wants to get his license renewed and then he has a dog and a daughter. I thought that was the funny shit ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> like, I would like to learn how to drive. Wow, that really went over your head. Yeah, I did. Did you get what I said? I got what you I didn't get it. It's like his license. What's his license? <laughs> I, like that, the, I like the reaction he gave before. Like, oh my God. <laughs> but... Yeah, was he trying to renew his alchemy? He was life? trying to become a state alchemist. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, he was already, I think. Wasn't yeah, he? he was. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to renew it. He's trying because to he, because renew he his had, funding. Because like, oh. you have to, like, do so much alchemist, alchemy work for them to renew you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> but anyway, um, not Full Metal Alchemist, because Full Metal Alchemist turned into a whole completely different direction. I know, I was just talking about I Spanish. like how it worked, but I like the canon brotherhood more. Alphonse? Alphonse. Sure. Yeah, I, that Brotherhood's still on my to watch list because I've seen the original oh. series all the way through and I loved the original series, but I know I hear a lot of good things about Brotherhood. It's it's the canon version of it. So I mean in technicality yeah. your brother beat us through the DVD <coughs> and Matt told us about it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean if you ever want to watch you I, you know someone you can borrow it from. <laughs> That's fair. You cannot legally watch it from me. <laughs> But, but, um, yeah, sure. Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood is like the complete series. Yep. It's like the complete anime. It, it has literally everything you can want in an anime. It's 64 episodes, so it's one of those where it's long enough to feel like you've gone on a big journey, but not nope. too long that it absorbs your life. It has action, it has humor, it has serious themes, it has questions of war and peace, it has questions of racism. It has everything. We got a kitty doing things behind me. Hi, <laughs> kitty. What's He's going for your uh, salad. Yeah, but that's as much as I can say I, about Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, without Alchemist, really spoiling really. it, there's just there's a lot of like because I read the manga too, and there's just, there was a lot of what? <laughs> there's a lot of feels. There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of, of course, action because basically you know they can do things with their hands and symbols and stuff. It's not Naruto. Like Tori, Tori, Tori. You're doing Naruto. <laughs> Tori, Tori. There's two birds. No. Tori, 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 no, Tori, Tori. Remember, <laughs> remember, fun fact. Nar- Let's just get back call, on track. Don't, don't, worry, don't, worry, don't, 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 don't worry. Fun fact. You know, they call Kakashi the copy ninja. He only copied one jutsu and it was only Zabuza throughout the whole series. <laughs> <laughs> from then on, he went Tori, Tori, Tori. It's all Nasuti, Tori, Tori. Yeah, that was something right Kishimoto just threw away. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure I'm sales. It's true. <laughs> Anything else about um, Brotherhood? I just, I liked all the twists. I liked the villains. How'd you like Scar. the Chimeras? I liked the Chimeras. Like they Scar? exist. I like Scar. What, that X oh, okay. on his face? Next. X is going to give it to you? Wait, wait, wait. Well, I, I had <laughs> There's literally only one thing in the whole series that I didn't like, and mm. it's not... It's been a while, so I don't think it's too much of a spoiler. But it's like when Mustang has Envy. And he's told <gasps> he's told not to kill Envy because, you know, he shouldn't pursue revenge. And that kind of irked me because it's like, I get what he was trying to say. 
But the thing about it is, like, the rest of the series of Venge, it would never end. It was a continuous battle. He can kill Envy and it'd be okay. That was the goal, was to kill these things and save Amestris and the whole planet. So I, I got what the message was, but it just, it was, I remember it irked me at the time, and I was just like, no, shoot him, <laughs> let him kill him. You can't be the leader of this Put country, you can't kill him. <laughs> Snap, 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 double D. Okay, okay so uh, that's, that's my two. Okay, right now, right? I've got yeah. one left, so let's see which one of y'all is kills my Is it one of the big three? It's okay. No. My next one. What's the big three? Are you going to do two, two? I'll tell you. I'll that. do two, because I have. Let, let me see how much I have left that haven't been talked about. I have four. Uh, I was going to say, who has the most? I probably have the I most. I have four. Me too. I think I have one more. How many okay. do you have? I think you might have probably one I three. have. So. Maybe. Well, hold on, let me see. Okay, that's Romero's scene. One, two, three. I got five. Okay. Okay, you have the most. You My next three. one <laughs> is Toradora. Oh, that, that, that's a good one too. Flip the tables. Uh, did uh, I even put that on mine? No. Tell so, us, Matt. Basically, and I heard it explained once, and I've believed in that idea of it is Toradora people like Toradora because it, usually it's baby's first slice of life and it was <laughs> it was for me because when I first watched Toradora at the time it was the thing where uh it was like I was that kid who was like if yeah, things aren't exploding why should I care so uh, I watched Toradora and it's just it's an emotional journey and it's it's slice of life high school things but it's done so well Still holds up. People still like it. Uh, and <laughs> get all that in there. Sorry. Get all the water. Romero is uh, ex- excreting. Well, water. Romero is urinating at the prospect <laughs> of no, I'm not. I'm just filling up the water. He cannot yeah. contain himself. <laughs> it's just a really good slice of life anime. And uh, like anyone who's into the genre or any, uh, anime in general, I agree. it's I agree too. It's standard. You have to watch it. Yes. I just uh, like the I just like how we try to do a fan dub of it and then like I just guess what the whole premise was between these two characters the two yeah, characters. Yeah, no, uh, I same here. I didn't know what was going on either. I don't I just thought it was I just thought I was throwing smack. Hey, you got secret feelings about me or something? Yeah, I did I did I was like I like how he predicted the Yeah, I can't so good. I can't say too much about it other than Yeah. It all just falls in the line. There was one thing I didn't like about it, but I'd be spoiling it, even though that series is now twelve years old. Wow. Is it old? Yeah, I think I, like, I think I can hit the nail on the head with it. Where it's just okay, teens don't know how to communicate because they're teenagers. Drama ensues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. I like did you go on a rant before about it. No, that was its other series. <laughs> the, oh, the other one. The other that other life. series that I that he graduated to. That I won't say, but I'm not nearly as upset as I used to be. So you don't have to bring it up. Oh, so I can put it in my top ten now. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. So right, that was. Uh, my next one is right. my one movie on the list, and it's probably my favorite anime movie, and that is Perfect Blue. Ooh. Ooh. I, I, that be on your list. I didn't expect that to be on anyone's list. Uh, uh, I, it on his. I just, it's a mystery Ooh. as well. Like I'm psychological starting thriller. to realize that I'm really into those. It's a psychological thriller mystery. It's, um, it's still relevant today, even though that movie came out in 97. It was based off a book earlier than that of just a person loses themselves when they become a public figure almost. And they become two. And it's just, it gets in your head. It makes you wonder what. Like the first time I watched it, I didn't expect any of the twists and it blew my mind. But the second time I watched it, I was like, oh, of course. It was obvious, but I still enjoyed it. And it just it just works as a movie for anyone that... For just as a movie in general, you don't have to be an anime or into animation. You can like it, and I just liked what happened to it, where it went, and all of its messages. I agree. It was a good hour or so. Uh, I think I it's like a standard like hour and twenty minutes, maybe. It's a good hour and twenty minutes. I didn't realize. It looks good. It's pretty. I love the twist, man. Uh, it's my favorite of the four movies. Um, by that guy. By that guy. Satoshi? I can't remember his. I can't remember his name. Is it Satoshi Kong? I think so, yeah. Is it not, didn't they get? Didn't they finally gonna get like the what was that last one? The grandpa, were those home home blow or whatever? Tokyo they Godfather. Yeah, like and they, isn't it getting a dub now? It did. Oh, it okay. had a re-release. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, he did uh, Perfect Blue. He did Tokyo Godfathers. He did Paprika, and he did yes. He did Millennial Actress. Did he do Paranoid Agent? Yes, he did Paranoid yeah. Agent as well. Paranoid Agent is made up of, of all the scraps of ideas he had for those movies. Oh wow! So that's why it's that's it's why all it's kind a of like yeah. 
Isn't there like a are like his and he call, call, colleagues making his? He life has or? like another. It's, it might not ever happen because like he started another movie where I think he wrote some of the script and started animating it, but he passed away sadly. And then his colleagues and yeah. friends have kind of taken over. But it's just it's like something they have to do on their side, you know, because it hasn't been funded or anything yet. And like the last thing I looked up about Isn't it, that it was kinda, like, no, it was like two years ago now, and they they estimate they're only like twenty percent of where. To, of completion for it. Start GoFundMe, y'all. <laughs> they, I think they might. But anyway, yeah, Perfect Blue is my favorite of those four mo- movies and my favorite anime movie. Nice. Okay. So, Carlos. Carlos. So, do I do two? Do two. Do two. I, uh, yep. You know, talking about the movies, I forgot the name of that one about the, the artist. The oh, artist. Miss Hokose. Okay, yeah. That's, what that's a really good one. Um, but no, it's like... Uh, I'm just going to go and say... I'm going to say the one that's... Started pretty much every 90s kid. Pokemon. Not Pokemon. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the hard cards, yu <laughs> But here's the thing. I want to... I don't know if this counts as two, though, because... No, it's. I believe it counts as one. What are we going to say? <laughs> Astro Boy. The Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. pair them. Yeah. Because I want, Absolutely. yeah. But they are very different series. They're almost, they're different genres almost. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because Dragon, Dragon Ball is adventure and Dragon Ball Z is more action. Yeah, but see, that's what I want. I kind of want to include them together because yeah. it still leads off where Dragon Ball ended. You like the Dragon Ball franchise. He I doesn't like, like Super though. Uh, I'm not, talk, what, GT, not talking about that. JT and Super don't exist in this household. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have not, I got to rewatch GT and I have to watch Super. But, yes, I liked the idea that. It, like how Dragon Ball was pretty much based off the uh, Journey to the West. Yes, Journey to the West of the Monkey, the Monkey King. I liked the fact uh, it was Journey to uh, Journey to the West. You really liked that it was based off that. Yes, but then it kind of did go on, off to be its own thing in the in Dragon Ball Z. Yes, but no, I like how the adventures like Bulma comes in and she she hits Goku with her bike. Was it a car? Car bike. Well, it's like a, it's like a domed bike. Yeah, and then that's it's, he. It's funny because he just lived in the forest or in the woods his whole life, so he didn't know what the hell that was. And because she bumped into him, it kind of just started yeah. This and then he's like, and "Oh, like hey, thing. you have this Dragon Ball. Can I have it? No, my grandpa gave it to me. He's like, my dead grandpa gave it to me. No. It's like what no. happened to him? <laughs> Nate killed him." But no, and then it's like, she's trying to persuade this kid, but he has no knowledge of how the real world works. Like, why would I want to look at your dirty underwear? <laughs> but no, Which isn't I, a bad philosophy to have, really. Yeah. I mean, come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> but no, it's kind of, it's, it's like, yes, it's adventurous, because you see Goku on his journey to becoming like a strong oh, fighter yeah. and a strong man. And then, and Z... I like how the premise originally was supposed to have like Gohan be the lead in it, but then people all got. Well, it was like it. after the Cell Saga. Yeah, it's like good. Cell Saga is like Gohan's going to be the main character afterwards, but they nah. weren't keen to the idea <laughs> yeah. of it. It was well, like, no, Goku! Well, you know, like the Android series had like so much edit, re editing, because like originally he wanted jo- uh, Android 19 and uh, Dr. Jordan to be the main villains, and then the editor's like, no, we don't like that. So they came out 17, 18, like, we don't like that. So he brought Cell, and he's all, yeah. like it, like it, but I don't like the way he looks. So he had to do the different revisions. <laughs> I love it, though. It works. It works. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolute classics for a reason. The one thing I do like though is how the art style of Dragon Ball, and then how how that was like Toriyama's art style before he changed to what Dragon Ball Z was, and that mm-hmm. has that one was well known now. Yeah. Especially if you play the Dragon Quest games, because you can clearly see it had ter- oh, yeah. Toriyama's yeah. heavy influence mm-hmm. on it. Definitely. And when I was introduced, uh, I watched Dragon Ball and I loved it. And then for whatever reason, I just didn't know Z existed for a long time. But then like was I think around. I think like they. Switched the schedule on Tsunami. It was like Dragon Ball, Fire Boy, Dragon Ball Z. I was like, what the hell is that? So I like watched Dragon Ball, and then it was Z, and it was like Gohan's first day of high school. <laughs> so oh. I was like so lost. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> what? what happened? <laughs> what happened? What? What? Happened? what happened? What happened? Well, no, yeah, that's. Oh, funny story. The only reason I knew GT was existed is because one day we were in, we went to Mexico. Like it was like a yearly thing, just for us to see my my grandma from my dad's side. 
And I didn't know GT existed until I popped up on the TV in Mexico. I'm like, what's going on here? And it's oh, like, yes, it's very popular. In Mexico. Mexico. And then you see, so Goku, you see Goku Pan and I think it was Trunks fighting these two dragons who had the Dragon Balls in them. Like, what? I don't know what their names were, but one was gold and one was silver. Okay. But yes. Next, Ramiro. Okay, wait, did that wait, technically count that was two? not two. Okay, do your next card. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'm sorry, ma'am. Well, okay, if you want to wait, Ramiro. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to go or you want to care? No, I'll say the la- I'll say my last one because I think. Oh, you're almost. That's your last one. You got yeah, one. Yeah, you got one, one more. Get, get it. Do the last get rid one. of it. Okay, I'll do the last one just to get rid of it. Okay. You still I already know what it is. Let's what do is. that from here on out. Like, when it gets to you, do everything you have left. Just yeah, that's what I was planning right, on doing well, anyway. Finish it. He has one more and then let him do it. Splurt it off. What I have it? five, man. Oh, What's my God. What's it be? I'll let him do his one. No, no, no Carlos, no. just do it. I want to hear your face. Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I want to see if it kills off mine, too. It ain't going to kill off your list. Am I I'm me. pretty sure one of the, your last one's going to kill off one on my list. Kill. Really? Yes, Carlos. We talked go. about it, Carlos. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, God, I forgot. Nobody talked about Violet, right? See, that was on my list. Oh. Violet Epicard? Yes. Okay. Is that on people's lists? No, it's on mine. Not on mine. Just Ramiro? Okay. Yeah. I really loved it, but the fact that I didn't get to see it with you guys, but yeah. Yeah. I had, I ended up watching it while I was working with my dad at a race, like a like a horse track race, and that was the worst idea ever. Oh, anyway, because oh, I, I was you meant the anime. <laughs> no, the anime itself was good, but watching it at the horse tracks was the worst idea. Especially when you get to to some of the feely episodes and you start crying and you try to fight your tears back so nobody knows you're crying and everybody just thinks you're laughing like a madman. It was a wonderful time. <laughs> no, but oh, experience. it's very nice. Yeah. It's it's beautiful yeah, in the way yeah. it looks and it's a uh, story. Yeah, I mean, I like the story, you know, like she's just trying to end up having like a normal life after mm-hmm. yeah that's the, mil- the military post war yeah. and, and all the post war denial I'll say one the only thing that concerns me about it and it won't be too spoilery is that I don't want her to be reunited with who she wants to find yeah I feel like that would close the door on that kind place. of stunt her growth mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would rather that not happen cuz you watched the movie yet no she I haven't I've been meaning to is it canon or is it just like <sighs> I don't know Come to find. Oh, no, I watched it. No, I liked it, but there was like, like it was kind of like there's parts in that movie like I was all could have gone a different way, but I was like, yeah, it, 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 it wasn't what I was looking for, but it was still good. It was, it was a good, okay, a good end, it was an yeah. okay movie. It was a good movie and an okay ending. But what I like about right. it, you know, is like she tries to find herself, you know, like throughout the series and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like the one that got me the most was like episode ten, I think. Whenever uh, she went to that little kid, and the little kid's like, "You're a doll." Oh, and you're a human? You're, no, like, you're a living doll or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and like, she, she wants to play with her mom, but, like, her mom's like, I gotta write these important letters. And oh, like, no. You know which one I'm talking about? Yes. Episode 10. I think so. And then uh, the one where she goes to the the, the front lines, too. To see, yeah. right? see, that part made me sad, too. It was, the like, one, the, those two episodes, like... If you want me to tell you which one's made me sad, but it was the one, well, the one with the playwright, the play artist, or the mm, writer. Yeah. And then the one with the little girl, that one literally pushed me to the edge, right? That's where the tears hit. No, At but, the horse track. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, funny story. Uh, no like, horses were harmed in the making of that. Like, me, me, Matt, Tanner, and Brandon were watching it, and, like, we were watching the, the one with the guy at the front lines that wanted to write the letter to his, was it girlfriend or wife? His oh God. Fiance. Fiance. And like, sad. we wanted it sad, but. Wasn't that joke? But I kept making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever is like, he's like, you do one more thing. <laughs> uh, okay, Ramiro. Ramiro, rapid fire because. Shoot him. All right, all right, all right. We're a bit short on time. Shoot all right, all right. Well. This is a controversial anime. It was banned in Australia. Oh god! I no just... game, no life. You know, I thought it was good. You know. Oh, that's the anime. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was a saying. <laughs> no, but like they have the whole. Isn't the light novel like a big deal in Australia right now? Or uh, something they're like starting to crack down yeah. on them. Yep. Yeah. But no, like I can see why people want a second season. You know, it's like it's really. Like, I liked it a lot. You know, it's like, but it's the Madhouse Curse. They never finished. The only anime they ever finished was Parasite. Yeah. But I didn't realize that was a thing. There's... Does anybody else have anything to comment on No Game No Life? No, I mean, I I really, no, one's, no one's seen it, but I really liked it. You know, it's like... I need to give it a try. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, next all right, one. All right, then the next one was uh, the, 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 the Clanet. Clanet. 
funny. It's another one I haven't seen yet. I I've that's so that's the first things. anime I ever balls out a crying. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, like it really. It's another like, one of those where it was spoiled for me, so I feel my motivation. What clan? It clan and clan and after story. Like it's too. No, they consider no kind of, you okay, balls to the wall emotion. Well, like I, no, well, I'm gonna just say like it's really good. You know, like if it's like a slight like a good slice of life anime. You know, it's like. There's some supernatural stuff in there too, and, and stuff. They got like them that. big eyes. Oh. Yeah. yeah, like some people don't like that, but I'm just like, mm. I don't. That care. was just the art style. It's so yeah. 07. Yeah. yeah, and then like, uh, it's fair. And then like one, this other one's called a, uh, well, it, like when I look at it, it says real girl, but like the beginning is like 3D real girl. It's pretty much about this guy who's like a nerd and stuff and like and that. Utaku, who's Utaku. obsessed with 2D girls. <laughs> not t- no, he's not obsessed with titty girls. He's not titty 2D. <laughs> no, yeah, no, like okay, like he. A two, oh, and then the letter D. Right, let, me, let me talk about it, all right, man? Shoot. But anyway, he's like an otaku and stuff, and he has a best friend who's, who wears cat ears all the time. Uh-huh. He's like, I'm, I'm a reject. I don't care. But then, like, one day he came, he came late to school with this other girl. He thought he was a delinquent and everything, and then both had to end up cleaning the pool. And he's all like, Shoot. he's all... He's like, why are you even talking to me? Like, I'm a loser and everything. He's like, <laughs> and he's all like, he's all. But you clean the pool. No, but then like she's all like, why don't you just leave? I you just leave, you know? And he's all, well, and he's all, what happens if I want to go out with you? And they start dating and stuff, and like it actually becomes a real connection. Dang. And, like, what game is there's, that? Like, two se- there's, there's, there's like two seasons. There's two seasons. There's two seasons. And like, uh, it's really good. Like actually, it shows like it goes. Like, and it's called 3D Girl. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it says Real Girl on the. On or Real Girl. Yeah. I was just trying to. When did it come out? Is it more modern? It's or? more modern. Okay. Like, like I like there's stuff I want to say, but I can't say. Y'all's it. fight okay. like, like last, smother. Right. Right. The, the last one's Bleach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me, like, I don't think Brandon watched Bleach. I did. A little bit. I, I, I think I, everybody in here. See, has seen he Bleach. didn't care for it because he, he wasn't hyped. <laughs> so I was, but like Bleach, you know, like you know, like everyone talks about. Let's talk about the fillers. No, <laughs> gotta love them bounce. The bounce know. arc was awesome. <laughs> I know. I, I have to say that. I feel better, man. I'm Gene Cardio. Here's my win. But no, what's funny? What I found funny though is like like some of the fillers actually make it to the main story, like in some can episode. Yeah. Well, that's they. I know what they tried to do. I know because they tried to interlock it, and yeah. I, they hurt themselves really by doing yeah, that. Cause like, yeah, because like. Cause like I was showing, show, yeah. like like my brother watched me watching when Ichigo was doing his holo training and stuff, and mm-hmm. the main villain in the bounce arc shows up and he's all, and like, uh-huh. see this guy, this guy's not even the canon monk. He's just he's just there, but like, Bleach, but like Bleach will always have a place in my heart because that was my gateway. Well, you see, that was that was my first <laughs> my anime too. Bro. Like yeah, I watched Naruto as a kid and stuff, but like I didn't really get into an anime yeah. until like Bleach came in my life. Like I remember like I showed the first episode on Toonami and every week. Watch it and like for a joke, me and him were, were watching saying Shaka Ho. And we thought it said Shaka Ho. Let's kill the ho. No, but, but like, you know, like, I, like I, for the longest time, I didn't really want to rewatch it because like everyone's like, there's no character development or anything. But like, I was going back, I was like, there is. It's just, yes, there it's is. just people, just people just rag on it because it was the worst of the big three, you know. Because mm. it got accounts and never finished the anime. That's sad. How Ichigo is. Like again, back like to the type of protagonist. He shows the type of protagonist. Things happen to him, yeah. and he has to react. Yeah, it's always a bit more interesting when the protagonist has a goal and they go for it. Yeah, Luffy and Naruto have goals. Yeah. Ichigo just wants yeah, to protect saying. his family and friends, and the danger comes, so he has to react. Yeah, well, so that's why like it feels that. like his growth is and emotionally is stunted. Oh god, well, yeah, but, like, but I think like you know, so kind of grows. So would you say if his goal is to become the Soul King? <laughs> he ain't no, he ain't no Aizen, man. <laughs> Okay. That's just a weird thing. Brandon. Is your list done? Whose list are done? Both of y'all are done? Yeah, they're done. All three of y'all? No, I got two. Okay. We got to go. Uh, so yeah, so I have uh, faster uh, <laughs> slice of life. Uh, one is called "Say I Love You." Ooh. I just thought it was uh, very unique and a lot of slice of life, and I just thought like the connection was really uh, yeah. cute between the main two characters. Um, another slice of life is my teenage romantic uh, comedy snafu, <laughs> which well, you can go in more because like I know you're the one who got me into it, so I'll let you talk more about. We that. haven't seen the other season. Yet. Um, no. But one I found on Adult Swim when I was growing up, like around the death. Note era was Witch Hunter Robin. I just loved how dark the art style was and like the concept. The main character was very interesting. Uh, they have like craft abilities that are magic, and the main character has a uh, main character Robin. She can like make fire, um, so she's like really she can cool. She just manifest it, kind of. Yeah, it's like witchcraft. <laughs> Um, and then one I don't remember how I found out about it, but it was like kind of an older anime called Dean Angel, 
Um, and that that's, one was that's kind been of, your thing for a long yeah, time. Yeah, that was like, like Death Note. Yeah, that was like one of my first. So, I don't know how or where I saw it. If it was on TV or maybe whatever, YouTube maybe. Maybe, but I remember yeah. it's like one of those that was like when AMVs first started. That was like one of the ones everyone loved using. Yeah. It's, I, 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 I really liked the like concept. <laughs> Main character has this power when he becomes like what thirteen or fourteen. He turns into an angel who has his own personality, and his angel personality uh, likes his love interest, and he likes that love interest, but she doesn't like him. But she likes his angel, and yeah, it's it's very interesting, like how. Oof. But it's also like the angel's a phantom thief, so he steals artwork and stuff, and it, it's, I think it's really cool. Oh, there's one persona up in here. <laughs> That's interesting. But yeah, that's uh, all right on your, okay. your list. Tanner, you finished. Got, are you are you done now? Well, I'll get to my. Yeah, okay. I was like, you can talk more about it. Okay, well, I guess I'm surprised nobody yeah, liked this. One left, right? Uh, yeah, I like Kill a Kill. Oh, I've never seen it. I liked it a lot. What's Kill a Kill? I talk about online. Media. Don't you have yes, uh, I fight do. stick? I, with I do. I am playing. I am joking with this man. I really liked the. Just Is that the the it. it's really crazy. I I I overlooked that. I don't really care about that part. It's just kind of like they He's both. Lying. It's armor. It's freaking armor. <laughs> that protects your belly this way. But I do. I, I like the action. I like the zaniness. I like the jokes. And just overall craziness of the show. I like the seriousness of the like they can do serious and crazy at the same time. Um, similar to I think it's the same studio did Gurren Lagann. Yeah, and Gurren Lagann is um, crazy trigger. and serious also. Trigger. Um, but Gurren trigger Lagann, their I, I would say that that was also a tie. Like between Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann. Like, it's, ugh, I've got too many. How about Kamina? Um, <laughs> but I do have to tell the story about, like, at least the ending. And for those who actually know what the ending is, like, on the very last episode, my friend walked in, like, he, he came in, um, was able to get into my apartment, and he walked in on the very end of that. And I had to explain to him, like, I promise the rest of the show is not like this. <laughs> this is not what you think it is. There is so much more to this show than what is happening right here in this situation. It's just when people lie in a pile completely naked. Yes. After the orgy. I have a kill a kill story. Too. Oh, go for it. <laughs> um, I was watching it, not when it exactly was coming out, but after it all come down, came out. Because sometimes I like to let an anime all come out and then I watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was sitting there watching it and my sister came by and she was like, Oh, what are you watching? He's like, oh, okay, Kill a Kill. And, you know, typical Kill a Kill episode, Ryuko and um, Sasuke are yelling at each other. <laughs> yeah. And she says, oh, I bet they're sisters. <laughs> and I was like, no way. <laughs> and so she left. And then, you know, later on, I fin- I get to the part where it- it's not really much spoiler because it's been out for a while and everyone knows. They are sisters. <laughs> so, like, true. I went to my sister and I was like... Do you watch you? that? <laughs> He's like, no. It's like, oh. She's like, I just guessed. It felt like they had that vibe. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that reminds me of like my my younger brother. Like, yeah. He was your younger brother, Noel. Like he was. He had a friend named Nick who was watching Naruto, and he was at the part where uh, Obito kept one as Toby, and then like and like he talked about him, and Noel was all, "Oh, you mean Obito? Who?" And then, like he's all. Uh, no, yeah, Toby. I mean, Toby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you haven't gotten to that part yet? You should read the manga. You'll get done no. quicker. No filler. <laughs> <laughs> no filler. I'm no. trying to watch the journey. Okay. Not read the journey. <laughs> but, um, but just to finish off with Kill a Kill, it's just, it's a, it was a really good show. I enjoyed it. With scissor swords? Yes, yeah, scissor swords. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the eyeball right here? Yes. See, I like how Brian brought up Order Guy, we never got a chance to talk about it. Well, well we're, like, we're about to. This is yeah. the that shows how important it is. I'll, I'll bring it up. Uh, Dead fish eyes. So, to end with me, I'll do my honorable mention real quick. My other one, my honorable mentions was Evangelion, and my other one is uh, Tunari, Tunari no Seki-kun, also known as My Neighbor Seki-kun. I knew it. It's just this little comedy slice of life. The episodes are 12 minutes. Uh, if... It, wait, is it the, the girl with like... What are you doing? Yes, what he keeps, doing, he keeps doing crazy things. Dude, I've been halfway distracted. watching it, actually. And it's just really funny and really cute. And it's like, I couldn't put it on the list with these other ones that are like Titanic in size and so go, cool, <laughs> you know. That's, that's why you use a genre. Model, model. Well, eventually, pieces eventually like we <laughs> might make it like uh, like a top 10 slice of lives that we do, our favorite slice of life. Something I like see that. it as a comedy now. But it's just, well, I mean, 
It's well, I haven't finished the series. It's just that. a nice if you want to just relax and watch an anime, you can do it all in one sitting. Yeah. Kudar no second goon is nice. It's a good one. Uh, on to or my main Gairu. list, uh, Origairu, otherwise known oh. as my teen romantic romantic comedy as long as I expected. Otherwise known as my teen romantic comedy snafu. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also known as <laughs> also known as probably my favorite slice of life ever. <laughs> and the protagonist, Hikigaya. Is my spirit animal one of my favorite an, <laughs> one of my favorite favorite anime characters of all time? Did fish eyes? Uh, pretty much, he has a very cynical view on life, and he's put into he's a permanent loner. And he's put in a position where he has to work with people, and he meets uh, another girl who's a loner, but she's a different kind of loner. And then there's another you insert the bubbly friend there, and it's you know hijinks ensues, but it's it has. The guise of a harem, like if you just saw the characters and like the basics of it, you would think it's a harem, but it's really not. It, it's almost not like yet. not yet. It, almost, <laughs> it kind of makes fun of and acknowledges harem situations, but it just it works in so many levels. I haven't seen the season three yet because I'm waiting for it all oh, to come out waiting. to watch it with everyone. We're waiting. Uh, and there's I don't have enough time literally to say all, all the good things about it. Just if you haven't given it a shot, give it a shot. It's it's, it's a different slice of life. It's a different slice of life. It's it has a lot more thought into it than other series. It's more and my last realistic. my last one for favorite anime of all oh, time. Here we go. I, I thought that was your last one. No, so. I had one more. Oh what's better than that? Well they're not I like I said they're not <laughs> yeah, well, in your top ten, not your favorite. in my top yeah. ten. <laughs> Code Geass. Yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really gonna <laughs> dig this out for money? Of course I am. <laughs> 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 Kogias is another one of those where it's like Full Metal Alchemist Brother. It's a complete series. It's Ooh. 50 episodes. It Ooh. has some length, but it's not. It never overstays the welcome. <laughs> Lots of things happen. If you're into the political, you know, like people like to say, don't put politics oh, in anime. It's like, oh man, it's been there for a long time. That's the, that's as political as you can get. It's <laughs> this big. It's almost Shakespearean in yes. how. Yes. It's a big thing. It's like, again, I can't go on and on about it, but it's like, it's not ignore a- the movies because they literally just dug into Sunrise's grave, Kogias's grave, for the money. <laughs> just watch the series. It's two seasons, 25 episodes yep. each. Like, it's another one of those where it's a- just absolute standard. Like, if you're into anime, there's I can't imagine you not at least giving it a try. It has a bit of everything. It has... Battle. It has war. It has Next. high school slice of life. Yeah. It has some, a little bit of comedy. It has serious issues. It has questions of the humanity's existence. Existentialism. It's it's everything you can want. I remember yeah. watching this in his dorm one day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's its opening ranked at for you? Like, like its first opening. Yeah. It's pretty high up there. It's pretty good. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that is. I think everyone. I get... think everybody got to the list. Uh, I got yeah. one more honorable mention. Yakuza. <laughs> I got an honorable mention. Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer is pretty good too. Yeah. Don't, Don't let the first do episode that. fool you. you. Do not let that first episode fool you. And it's not even that bad. Okay. It's Don't not. Do that. Um, it's it's a very I, like I know this is an anime, but it's a very Game of Thrones situation. People judge the entire series based on the first episode, and that's like nothing how the show is like. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's supposed to give you an idea how like how they really are. You know, it's like yeah, if you're into like D and D or just dark fantasy in general, you're like Goblin Slayer. Probably. Yeah, definitely. And Demon Slayer is the most overhyped ha- overhyped anime of 2019 because the animation, and I knew yeah. that because after reading the manga, I'm just like <laughs> overhyped. <laughs> that thing, my hero's overhyped. Well, so. not as overhyped as Demon Slayer. Like Demon Slayer is like only got its got its fix because of the animation. It looks very pretty, and the manga is very rough at times. Yeah, that's yeah. what we need to do in uh, an episode of overhyped anime. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Toxic fan base this number is, one. Oh, no, you shut up! We're this not going y'all. there. I'm doing honorable mentions. I'm gonna just list off the rest of my top twenty. So I forgot that I watched Shiki. So ten point. Oh, that was gonna oh, that was gonna be on the list. Shiki, Ghost in the Shell, that. standalone complex was very good. Samurai Flamenco. Threw me for a loop. Darker than black. Uh, Holic, One Punch Man, Tiger and Bunny, Dorara, Space Dandy, Moggy, Paranoia Agent, um, and then honorable mentions that aren't on that top twenty. What is, the uh, heck? I thought you just... School Days. <laughs> oh, oh it made we, gotta me tell, laugh. we gotta tell that story okay, one day. Shirobako. Oh, Save it. Shirobako. Yeah, like, was Shir- not in my top. Shirobako is definitely good. Amagi Brilliant Park. Yeah, that's a good one too. Ghost Hunt. And I think. That's it. Everything else was like because I was using my anime planet and most of the stuff that I had just four point five I didn't put because it's like I've got five star stuff so I might as well yeah. use the five star stuff. 
But I, like I said, Shiki was one of those things. It's like, oh dang, I enjoyed that experience. I, you know, Shiki's oh, really good. It's so hard like, to place any of those. Since we're getting closer rank. to spooky month, oh, know. you know, uh, uh, Shiki's like up, very <laughs> high up there in uh, Halloween anime or that kind of aesthetic. And watch ghost stories. <laughs> ghost <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, um, uh, but did anyone have any like closing thoughts as we're about to wrap up here? I yeah. think y'all are some very diverse people. Yeah, I'm well, so I'm glad like that we're all like like different I things. Feel, well, I, mean, I feel like I had the most sh- like big time shown in on my list. You had a lot of. Shows. There's nothing wrong with that. No, but like I mean, yeah, I wanted right. to put High School DXD because I really like that anime. I know it's a lot of titties and stuff, but like the story, <laughs> the story. <laughs> you trying to trick me again? <laughs> no, but like no, the story, story, man. I swear to God. No, I mean the story is really good. I'm, I promise. I know, you. I know. I trust. Like like my. I made my friends, my other two friends watch it and they're like, dude, you're a pervert. And then they got, they watched all four seasons. They're like, the story's pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm a pervert too. <laughs> uh, anything Honorable else? Honorable mention. Would Candle you say Steins Gate a good Halloween one? Because I hear Steins Gate? Yeah. I haven't seen, I haven't seen it actually. Yeah, yeah. I've always, it's another one that's high on the list of I have to see. Because like, I just bought, like I went to the game store yesterday to have a visual novel for the Vita and yeah. I bought it. Because like, Brother Noel watched it and he's all, what should I do? Should I just watch the, play this and, and then watch the anime? And he's all, yeah, just watch the visual novel and see if there's differences. You said you had an honorable mention, Carlos? Yeah, Effort Samurai. Oh! <laughs> That's <laughs> Samuel interesting. L. Jackson. That's interesting. For Samuel L. Jackson. Fruit and I like that animation watch that style. style. Uh, you guys have any other? Uh, Dorora... I really liked, but it really got too convoluted. Too many and cooks. And like, as we like to say, it, I like the convoluted. It got though. too many cooks in the kitchen, and I don't mind Did that it's a that? big cast with the interlocking stories. But I feel, especially towards the end, it instead of just progressing with what they had, they threw more people in there, and it's like you absolutely you throw in too many vegetables but in the I stew. But I kind of like the stew, though. <laughs> no, it's it's really good. Uh, not off the top of my head uh, that I can think of right now. Just. Uh, uh, I got one for uh, you. Something that made you shame. feel shame. Shame. Something that made you feel uh, good. Yeah, there's one you should watch. Hey, Brandy, I got a recommendation for you. You should watch uh, Love and Chinibo and Delusions, man. Okay. Chinibio. That's a good Yeah, because, like, well, the premise is, like, these kids, this guy wants to, he was, like, pretty much a full on otaku and, like, dress and, like, act I like he's a different year old. But, like, he started in high school and he's too. trying to, like, hide, hide all that stuff because he wants to be a new person. Mm-hmm. Right. But then he meets a girl that's still into it and, like, figures out his uh, ex persona. He's like, dang it! <laughs> what a way! What a way to end uh, But I think uh, that's, that's yeah. pretty good. That's where that we're at right now. Um, all of our personalities. Yeah, yeah we're, we're we the are. shower productions. We're going to continue to do this podcast and see how it goes. Hope you uh, enjoy it. When they have in-person cons again, we're going to do panels and hopefully go out of our state for a couple eventually. It's yeah. possible we might do virtual panels too. But Maybe I don't know. But man. for now, we just we're just going to do this. Trying and... to go on and. You know, take care of yourselves out there and all that. Yes, yeah, stay safe. I mean, um, um, and uh, whoever you like the least will uh, sacrifice. How <laughs> about we do a Twitter poll? You know, because yeah. those things are accurate. Right, we're gonna do a Twitter poll. Whoever you didn't, you like the least, is gonna be out of the next podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oh, well, come that's, on. That's, that's not fair. Uh, that's, so, what about per, the guy who's doing the technical thing? If he's the he can talk, come, but he can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like, cover his mouth. <laughs> Sad day. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think we'll leave you with that for now. Uh, I'm Thank Matt. And do you want to do social media? Oh, yeah, yeah, he not, just tried to do a closing. I'm not Tanner. Yet. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm in I am way. Matt, and that is Tanner. I am Tanner. This I'm, is Matt. This is Tanner. This is Brandon. This is C. They Lord. can't see and you. Ramiro. <laughs> Ramiro. Brandon. Brandon. Well, I'm going to tell you. Well, say your own name. Okay, I'll say it. This is what I tell people. I say my name's Ramiro, but people can call me Ram, and I also drive a Dodge Ram. Oh, it's Ram Rio. <laughs> yeah, Ram Rio. <laughs> oh, be quiet. As given by Christina. <laughs> Christina Belli misspelled my name. Carlos. You're here. I think we can cut it off there. Yeah, so yeah. bye. Thanks for listening. Bye, well. bye everybody. <laughs>